hello friends today in this tutorial i'll be showing you that how to build a very simple video streaming app inside your node.js and express app so i will be showing you how to stream a any sort of video file inside your express application so this you can see this is a live demo so if i load this application you will see this is a video file there is some kind of control is also there you can view it in full screen i can if i play this file here uh, hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you the so you can see this is a video file which is playing here inside the browser you can also download this file all sort of options are there you can change the playback speed picture and picture mode like this if i download this simply it will download this file here so i will be showing you how to simply play this uh, video file inside your node.js application very simple just video streaming kind of application so if you want to download all the source code regarding this application or follow along just go to the video description link this is the blog post i have written here step by step blog post where i have written all the source code to for you so a single index.html file is there and the html file so just go to the video description link to follow along with the video and download all the source code and now to get started guys i will close this window and i will make a new application here I will cd and make directory video streaming project. I will cd into this video streaming project and I will open this inside my Visual Studio Code text editor. So here you will see we only need the one dependency which is express. We don't need any sort of third party dependency. So first of all initialize the empty package.json file npm init dash file after that you need to install express and pmi express that's it this is the only dependency that is needed for this application to play video files inside your node.js application simply we will create the starting point of the application index.js simply go to package.json so here you just need to write some starting script so we will write the dev script here which will be simply nodemon index.js node mod is a dependency you can install which will automatically restart your server so we can npm i dash g for global and node mod i have already done that so install this dependency it will automatically restart your server when you make any sort of changes so now you need to make a very simple express app that you make this process will be pretty familiar to you if you have watched my videos in the past as well now we will make the app variable and initialize it to express and then we will listen here on the port that we will create here and in the callback we will say that console log that app is listening on port and here we will dynamically pass the port number so simply we need to create a port here which will be simply be 5000 process.env.port if it is not available then run on 5000 and simply we will make a get request to the home page we will open the home page inside our express application and we will load the file here with the help of send file method here we will pass the file here which is index.html so now basically if you re, uh, just nodemod index.js if you run this application you will see app is listening on port 5000 so basically if i load this application on the browser so you will see nothing will be there no such file or directory so we need to create this directory inside of a root directory index.html and after that simply write the boilerplate code here change the title to node.js video streaming app so here we will have to write a very simple line of code we need to be having a video tag here so basically if you refresh it you will see our, our file is loading here properly nothing is there so we simply need to have a video tag here and inside this we need to provide a property of width which is 1080 you can provide any property of your choice we also need a property of controls so it will have the play control pause control all these controls that you see inside the video 
so this is the attribute which is automatically be attached after that inside the url section we will provide here http localhost we can simply write slash play video like this so we need to make this request here so basically if you go to refresh here you will see the video tags here all these tags but the video will not play because we are not loading any sort of video so for this you need to load a video here so now at the server side we need to create this route here which will be simply play video so we need to go to our here we need to write this get request app dot get play video and uh, we will say request response and this is a very business logic of this application decides in this get request so just pay at attention here so right now inside guys we need to create a range variable so whenever you play a video here whenever you make a get request here for the playing of a video this automatically sends inside the header which is we can have the headers here which, with the help of request dot headers dot and there is a property called as range if you print this property there is this contains some garbage value which is often very useful in streaming kind of a application so you will see if i hit this endpoint so i think if you go to the video description link sorry this needs to be here in the source attribute so we are just making a mistake here so just change this from url to source that's it and now you will see what we are taking here if i refresh it this is the application you will see now it is loading it and inside the console you will see this bytes is equal to zero dash it is now printing this value inside the console here this is the range value so this is some garbage value that is printed out now basically guys what we need to do is that we need to get the path video path which is available so either you can upload it uh, dynamically but in this video i will be showing you how the static works here so basically we will take a video here inside i will copy my video here simply i will paste it to this directory so i am there inside this directory video streaming project i will simply paste this video this is a one dot mkv file so here we will have our video path variable video path and this will be equal to dot slash one dot mkv so you can play any video extension mp4 avi mov mkv any of the video file types so I am just taking the example m1.mkv and now we need to have the video size how much the size of the video so these are all, all properties will be very much useful so just create the variable here video size and now to compute the size there is a very famous module that we need to include is the built-in module which is the file system module you need not have to install it so file system so inside the file system module guys there is a method which is simply stat synchronization this is a method and inside this method guys we will pass the video path which is the video path here and here we will calculate the size here like this and then we can console log how much video size is there basically if i refresh the application now you will see in the console this will print out the size of the video hopefully it should fix i think video size it should print for this i think we need to reload it so now you can see it will printing out the size in bytes this is the bytes here so we need to convert to kilobytes or a megabytes basically the original size of this video is a roundabout it is very long video 965 megabytes so it is the size in bytes here you can see it's a very long video 22 minute video and after calculating the size guys what we need to do is that 
we need to make another variable which is a chunk size chunk size and after that this needs to be the value 1 multiplied by so this is some very hard code that you need to write here but this is the exact code which is necessary in order to stream a video inside Node.js so you just need to store this template or store this piece of code anywhere business logic code to stream a video so another variable start here and this variable is we will be taking a number and inside this we will say range dot replace and then we will use the very regular expression here which will be this symbols bracket like this in this way sorry I think this needs to be this one yes I think this is the symbols replace D G and then this so this is the regular expression guys so basically it is calculating the starting position of the video file which you will play here this is meant by that we are calculating the starting position and then we will create the end position of the video so this is the end video end position and here we will make use of the math function math.minimum and inside this we will pass here start plus chunk size start plus chunk size comma and then video size minus one the second parameter will be video size minus one so this is the end duration of the video that's it and now guys what we need to do is that we need to again create a variable here which is content length and this variable will be equal to end minus start plus one so this is very hard code guys i can understand if you are watching this video you will see that uh, i also don't know this code but uh, this is a template in which you need to build a video streaming kind of a application and then lastly we need to set some uh, headers here for playing the video so these headers are very much important so you will create headers here like this just create a function and this is a series of objects here const headers and first of all we pass here content range and uh, this content range will be equal to you will see bytes and then we will dynamically pass here so you just look here bytes and then start So here we are just using the template symbol here start minus end divided by video size like this video size that's it put a comma here the second content header which takes this time is accept uh, ranges so accept ranges which will be equal to bytes so we are uh, accepting the size in bytes not in mil um, kilobytes not in megabytes not in gigabytes so the size of the video streaming will be in bytes the third property is content length so i think this content header you will be knowing it content length so this is equal to the content length that we have defined in the variable that's it put a comma and the last header guys which will be content type this also you will know content type is generally the extension of the file which is in this case will be video slash mkv that's it if we have M mp4 file then we will replace a mp4 so this is mkv this is generally called a mem type after the, uh, describing all these headers guys what we need to do is that we need to write response dot write head this is a very famous method right head so we are writing the headers here 
and we need to pass a status code here which is 206 which is very much useful in video streaming and then we will pass all the headers that we have defined here that's it and lastly guys what we need to do is that we need to create a video stream here which is stream and file system and uh, this contains a read create read stream method here like this so this will actually create the video stream for us we will pass the video path here like this put a comma and the second argument will be the start and the end duration start comma end inside this is the object after that we simply need to pass this to the response here which we will do this by the pipe method stream dot pipe and we will pass pipe it to the response which is res which is response so this is the complete logic of this application guys i know that this is a very complicated code but this is the amount of code that you need to write in order to stream a video so you will see now if i re reload the application hopefully this will stream this video i think we need to reload the application If you reload it, I think it has some kind of error here, bytes. So just have a space here after bytes here, let's suppose. Now you can see, now it is working here because we haven't had a space here, we were like this. So just put a space here after bytes here. So that is the correct code. So this is all the code guys which is necessary now you can play your video uh, hello friend DFS just go to the form a value here so this is very much useful if you are building your own video streaming kind of application you need to stream videos on your website node.js server so this is a block of code that you will write here so just store this code somewhere else you will need this code in those applications whenever you make uh, at any video streaming applications such as youtube clone or uh, if you are inserting the video files inside database so this is very much useful you can play in full screen you can uh, disable the audio like this all these controls are there so if you like this video guys please hit the like button subscribe the channel and also comment on this video and if you don't if you want to download all the source code go to the video description link and i will be seeing you in the next video